Hi and welcome to another weight loss update. In this video, I'm going to be sharing my progress for weeks four and five. I restarted my weight loss journey this year on January 9th after hitting quite a few speed bumps at the end of last year. I have a few highlights to share for this week. First, as you know, I started fitting into my old gym clothing and this week I felt comfortable enough to wear this to the gym and though it fits pretty tightly and not as flattering as it once did, I still count this as progress. I did not take measurements this week, but my scale weight did go down and I am officially in the 130s after being stuck in the 140s since July. An area that I realized that needs a lot of improvement is my gym confidence. I am so self-conscious recording in the gym and I realized that it's partly because I'm still relearning proper form for many different exercises and I just feel embarrassed if I see myself doing it wrong, especially when I rewatch my videos. For this workout, I started with a warm-up. I had planned to do cardio, but the treadmills were so creaky. I decided to just leave it out entirely and do it at home. I like to start my upper body workouts with a dynamic warm-up combined with some stretching. This just helps me prevent shoulder injuries. My first lat pull down set is a lower weight for my warm up, and I gradually increase the weight as needed. I moved right into one arm rows here at the same machine just to be a little more efficient, and sometimes I'll do a superset of these two exercises in the same place, especially on days when there are no benches available. Next, for shoulders, I'm doing some leaning lateral raises. There are many ways to do this exercise, but I really like this positioning because it helps me work on my shoulder stability and gives me a really good burn. Today, while working biceps, I realized that I was swinging quite a bit. I decided to do three different variations of bicep curls to check my form and slow it down in order to prevent myself from swinging during my reps. And to conclude this workout, I did some balance work and abs at the end. I was finding it a little difficult to do my V-ups with the ball this time, but I think that it's probably due to the fact that I haven't incorporated this exercise in my routine for some time now, and I need to get back into it. Okay, this is week five. I'm gonna go ahead and step on the scale, do my weigh-in for the week, and take my measurements. I don't feel like my body's changed too much despite doing these every two weeks instead of every week. I thought I would feel more of a change. I haven't taken my measurements yet, but just going by what I look at in the mirror, I look exactly the same. Sometimes when you train so hard and you do everything right, you kind of expect to see more progress, but maybe I'm getting ahead of myself. Like I almost don't want to take measurements because if they're exactly the same, I don't know, it just kind of makes you feel like you're doing a whole lot for nothing, <laughs> but that's not the right attitude. This is kind of how I feel before I do any official measurements and weigh in. I have my own thoughts going through my mind about how the progress should be more before I've even seen what the progress is. So I guess we'll see. So there was no significant weight loss on the scale this week and even though the number is slightly lower than it was last week, if you look at week three I was at 140.2 and this week doesn't put me at a full pound of weight loss even with the lower number. Up until this point I have been tracking meals and calories, I've also been training 
pretty much five days a week and hitting cardio so I wasn't sure what I needed to do to get back on track with my one pound weight loss but I was trying to just not be too discouraged without first taking measurements and I'm glad I did because my measurements showed something very different than this scale did. I lost almost one full inch on my lower waist from last week and in total this is four inches lower from when I started back in June. My upper waist measurement was half an inch smaller than last week and three inches smaller than when I first started. None of my other measurements changed, but I was so glad for taking measurements from the beginning because the scale did not show this progress and honestly my photos and progress videos did not look too different to me either. This is week five and today I'm going to be doing another upper body workout. I know I did that last week but I did legs earlier this week and I still have not recovered. My legs are still really sore so it's just going to be another upper body. I ordered these resistance bands off Amazon. I don't really know about the quality of them. They feel pretty good. These are going to be the bands I'll be using to start training for pull-ups. They're just called resistance bands times four. I remember being at the gym and using these when I was training for pull-ups a couple years ago and they weren't any name brand so I figured these are $20, might as well try my luck with them. Hopefully they won't snap while I'm in the air. Comes with four of these, a light resistance and increase in resistance as they get thicker. So. I'm gonna go ahead and try these out today. Hopefully I don't fall down or anything. I also got my BOSU ball. I'm really excited to use that as well. It's my reward for getting into the 130s for my weight and I'm just excited to add little things to my gym and know that I will be using them for sure. 